Good morning. Me and Min are say good morning. <laughs> it's so funny how she sleeps. She's like a little human. I don't want to get up. I feel so dizzy right now. Um, if anyone has any tricks or anything for pregnancy when you wake up and you feel like if you stand up you're gonna fall over I'd love to hear them because Good morning man sorry I didn't give you enough love because um I just like the room is just spinning and like I don't know like I won't throw up per se like I might dry heave some but it's just like I hate this feeling I just Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Minnie loves the mornings. She kisses nonstop. Look at you. You're so cute. Stretch away. <laughs> she loves the camera. She seriously sleeps like this all night, like a little human. Mm, I know. I'm up. Um, it's so bad. In the morning, also, I was just thinking about this. I don't feel hungry, and it scares me because, like, I won't feel hungry until, like, 3 o'clock, and I do try to eat, but I know it'll pass eventually, but it's just, like, worrisome, I guess, because, like, I want to make sure I'm eating enough, and I know you really don't need to eat that many extra calories until um, your second trimester, but I don't know. It's time for Minnie to eat, though. Let's show everyone how you sit. Sit. Minnie. Minnie. Sit. Good girl. Good girl, Min. You can eat. Sit. Set. Good girl. Eat your food. Get the ball. Does anyone think that Minnie has gotten big? We took her to the vet and she's five and a half pounds, which like we did not think she weighed that much. Ben, come here. Let's see if you got bigger. Come here. Come here, Min. She definitely got longer. If you can tell, let me try to get, there we go. She's definitely longer and looking more like a dachshund. Min. And her nose is definitely stretching out and She's losing that like baby fat look in her face, but she's pretty long. It's just funny because like, I remember when we first got her, she weighed like a pound and a half and she like fit in my hands and I have the tiniest hands. So it was so weird that like this little puppy would fit in my hands and now she's like five and a half pounds. Yeah, big girl. I have been so lazy today. Danny had school and work today, and I, I did nanny. I went and nannied and everything, but I'm just, like, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I think um, being tired is the worst pregnancy symptom, and especially for me because I am the kind of person that loves to run and run. Like, I like to run, 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 and do things and, like, go places, but it's, like, I do one thing, and I'm, like, all right, I'm ready to take a nap now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, today... We went and got our first ultrasound, our first official ultrasound. So this is what happened. We, I, I don't know. I took a home pregnancy test. It was positive. 
and that was like September 12th no that has have been like September 10th and it was positive so I thought that was kind of weird whatever people were saying it could be twins it could be like you know whatever so why is the family doctor because I'm on Zoloft and I had to check and see what I should do about that so then um we cut it in half and I did blood work and we found out exactly how far I am and they said I was six weeks. That was around, I'd say three weeks ago. So that means I'd be nine weeks right now. Nine, ten weeks, depending on, you know. So then of course I make an appointment um, with the gynecologist and stuff because I had an appointment for not until like October 9th because I thought I was like just found out I was pregnant and then they said I was a lot further so I like um yeah I just like lost my train of thought okay so I um went to him and I did the ultrasound and there was the sack but there was no baby or heartbeat so he told us that either they were wrong or um something happened to the baby and they, the baby just stopped developing so I uh was very upset and Danny was very upset and we were very emotional, very stressed out, um, you know, just trying our best to stay positive and stuff. So then I got more blood work done so he could check my HCG levels. And when I got my blood work done from the family doctor, my levels were at like 880. And then when I got them done like two weeks later, they were at over 22,000. So the OBGYN said that it's fine, like that's where I'm exactly where I should be and like we'll check again a week later so we went back yesterday which was a week later and he said that I'm six weeks two days which was yesterday so today I'm six week no it was today it was today so today I'm six weeks two days six weeks yeah six weeks two days and it was just too early for the ultrasounds I guess it just didn't catch the heartbeat and stuff like that so I'm gonna show you the baby <laughs> it's not like you can really see him him or her but that's our ultrasound we have this my mom bought this for me so we're just going to keep every ultrasound we get we'll just put it in there but that's the baby um i don't know i'm just like wondering how like when i went to the family doctor of course first they do the urine test and she said that she was like you have to be six or seven weeks because i mean it the, the positive came up so fast so like Danny like brought up what if it's twins like what if one of them is hiding somewhere or something <laughs> because like my HCG must just be like really really high or something because like why why did that happen did anyone else have an experience like that I would love to hear people's experiences and stuff because like I'm so curious and like the gynecologist was just kind of like I don't know he was like a little like a little bit weirded out almost like he was just like this is just weird so if you have any experiences like that just let me know because Danny and I both would love to uh, hear them but yeah so we're not what we thought we were we're only six weeks and I thought I was like going on like 10 but um, that's fine everything's good with the baby um, I'm going back to the OBGYN in two weeks to talk with the nurse and stuff and then I'll go back another two weeks to do another ultrasound and we'll go from there so that's the news for now. My due date is May 20th. So Danny's grandmom's birthday was May 19th. Emily's birthday is May 12th. So we have some May birthdays and stuff. So that'll be fun. And it's not too far from mine. Mine's April 12th. So I mean, obviously I don't want to have the baby on April 12th because that'd be premature. But you know, it's just funny. Like we're thinking about all the birthdays that surrounds the baby's birthday. And that made me think too. There's um, someone we know from church, which Tommy, Kristen, I always say that he should be Kristen's boyfriend. Um, his family, his mom, his dad, and his brother all share a birthday. I think that's so weird. So, yeah. That's our news for the baby and what kind of happened and stuff. And, like, it was just so hectic. Like, it was crazy. And, like, I was really upset. Like, I was hysterical for a few days. And, like, it was just craziness. So, it was hard. So, we really appreciate the positive feedback from you guys and so does the baby and um we appreciate the people who um didn't mind us taking a break I know we just kind of disappeared it was just like 
it just kind of happened. I don't even know. But we're definitely back and like you don't have to worry about that. But look at this bruise from getting blood work done. Let me try to get it in the better lighting. Look at how bad that bruise is. I don't know if you can tell how big it is, but it's pretty long. Like, and I do bruise pretty easily, but I've never bruised like this from blood work. Does that have a better view angle? Like, it's crazy. I got my blood work done over a week ago, and this is how it looks. That's a nasty bruise. It looks like I get abused because it's like right on my arm so you can see it like it's not like I can really hide it. This vlog is all me. Danny hasn't vlogged at all today. I don't think he's going to. He's been so busy. But who has um, been following the news in the U.S.? Do you think the government's going to shut down? It's so weird. Like I don't even really like I don't know. I just the government it drives me nuts. Like there's just so much drama like. I feel like a lot of times it's like, well, you're a Democrat or you're a Republican. So, like, um, a lot of it's, like, just about who your side is. So, like, I feel like if we dropped that and just tried to, like, look for the better good of people, I mean, obviously, yeah, we all have different opinions and, like, some go towards the Democrats, some go, to go towards the beliefs of the Republicans or whatever. But, like, if you really look at it, they're like, oh, well, that's a Republican or, oh, that's a Democrat. So, like... It's kind of childish, but um, I'm just like reading all the things like, and it's just like ridiculous. <laughs> like if you think it's going to shut down, thumbs up because I just think it's like, I almost think it's funny. It's not funny, but this has happened before in the U.S. So like, I think people need to just, these people need to put on their big boy underwear and big girl panties and like. Just sit down and figure it out. Like, it's just ridiculous. Shutting it down isn't going to do any good. It's just going to cause more drama. And I think it's going to make taxes go up even more. Which, if you live in New Jersey, you do not want your taxes to go up anymore. Because you're paying pretty much more than anyone else in the country. I th actually, I think we do pay the most in the country. California might be higher than us. I'm not sure. But, like, we, it, it just needs to end. Like, I'm so sick of it. Like, let's just figure things out, guys. And let's all be friends. But I can't wait to see tomorrow if it actually shuts down or not. It probably won't. I can't see it actually shutting down. But it did, I think it did in the 90s? Is that the 90s or the late 80s? I forget. But Minnie, come here. She's trying to get in the bathtub. What are you doing? You do need a bath this weekend. Yeah, but thumbs up if you think it's going to shut down. I'm going to read for a little bit and then I'm going to bed. Danny's not home yet, but I'm so tired, so I'm just gonna like, yeah, I'm just, I might not even read. Like, I have a headache and I'm tired, so I'm just gonna lay here and probably fall asleep. And then he's just like running around, so whatever. I have to turn all these lights off because they're killing my head. But tomorrow will be a better vlog. Danny will be around more, so it won't just be me yapping, especially since I was so bored. Not bored, but, like, I kind of took it easy today, so sorry that it's been me just, you know, yapping away, but good night, YouTube. We'll see you tomorrow. Danny will definitely see you tomorrow. I'm going to write him a note to vlog in the morning when I leave.